In this video I'll take you through the process of importing and working with multiple characters in Cascader. I'll also give you some tips and examples that may come handy. Ok, let's get started. First you will need to have the two characters rigged in two different scenes. Then you can open a new empty scene and import both characters in File, Import and Scene. And select the first scene file and then the second one. And I will move the character away just to separate them. This way you will have the tracks nicely organized as you had in the original scenes. It also makes it easy to hide one character with the eye checkbox or lock the tracks with the lock checkbox so you won't make accidental changes to the wrong character and you won't be able to select the controllers for that character. It's possible to use auto-posing with both characters although it only works for me in a specific order. When you try to toggle auto-posing seemingly nothing happens you need to first select the first character's point controller and toggle auto-posing in the header and then do the same for the other character and then you can toggle auto-posing easily. For auto-physics you need to select the center of mass of one character and just simply turn it on. And to switch to the other character, select uh, the other center of mass and turn off and on auto physics. And the same applies if you want to use the ballistic tools, you can add ballistic curve by selecting the center of mass of one character or the ballistic ghosts, etc. In case your characters are holding or lifting each other, you can add a common center of mass. Select both of the center of masses then go to commands, center of mass, create composite. And now you can use auto physics for both character by selecting this composite center of mass. When you are ready with the animation you can export the whole scene or you can export the characters individually. This is especially useful if you have the free version so you don't exceed the joint limit for the export. You will need to select all of the objects for one character by holding ALT and double click on the folder of the character. And in File, Export FBX, select uh, Scene Selected Objects. In my case I have two different characters but they have the same naming for the joints. Uh, therefore they will have this character1 prefix by default. And when you export the file, this name will be kept in the FPX file and you might not want to use it. In that case you can turn it on in the object properties under FPX export and turn off use namespace. But keep in mind that this will cause an error if you try to export the whole scene. Because FBX doesn't support having the same name twice in the same file. So only turn off this option if you are planning to export the characters individually. And here you can see me importing the exported animations to Blender. And I rename the actions and I will apply them to the original armature. The bone scale is wrong in case of the second character but it doesn't really matter because I will be using the original armature. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any questions or need any further help, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to answer it.